Hello everyone, welcome. This is Pastor Roland, checking in to see how you're doing. Hope you're doing better. As I've said many times, some of you are not doing so well. You have issues. And your number one issue is you get upset too easily. You get upset and you react to the outside. You react to people. It's mainly people. But you re eventually you react to everything. It's, you know, if you trip on the carpet or bump into something or something falls down, you react. The phone rings, you react. Cell phone goes off, you react. Can you see the difference between noticing or observing something and, and then responding appropriately if any response is needed? Often no response is needed. Can you see the difference between that and reacting, becoming emotional? The, but you have what you have to realize is two things. Number one, what you see on the surface is just the tip of the iceberg. You've, heard, you've seen the old drawing um, on the blackboard where somebody draws an, uh, an iceberg. As a matter of fact, I just happen to have my new whiteboard that I got for Christmas right here. So there's, there's the iceberg. Can you see it? There's the iceberg. Okay. And that's the surface of the water. Okay. That's the surface of the water. So that's the surface of the water and this is all under the water. So you see what the point is. You only see the tip of the iceberg. Most of the iceberg is under the water. That's why ships have to be very careful because there's more under the water than you can see on top. Well, when you react, when you get irritated at traffic or you become resentful toward your husband or you become impatient with your children or you react when there's a little extra work or you get a bill that isn't paid or something when you react. All that people can see on the surface and all you see is the tip of the iceberg because underneath there are millions, millions of changes taking place in your body, in your bloodstream, your organs, your glands, your blood vessels, all the way down to the smallest capillary and down to the at the cellular level because of your reaction okay that's what you need to understand and the other thing that you need to understand is that is that um, is that you're not supposed to oh and of course the other thing you need to, to know which you I've said many times and that is some people on the surface appear calm but they're reacting underneath see we we, we become good especially at work of uh, because we know if a person becomes up, upset at work and starts jumping up and down and screaming and yelling and well they're going to not get promoted they might get fired they're, they're not going to look competent so we hide it but it's suppressed and underneath the reactions are still taking place that's why you can see a man on, uh, how many times have I told the story of the fellow that I used to know that um, was always calm on the surface, calm, calm, great big guy too. He was like six foot eight or so. He was just big guy, but very calm. One day the phone rang, and then, and then outside, then he went outside to talk on the cell phone, and I heard him arguing with someone, probably his girlfriend wife, you know how that is. Arguing, arguing, arguing. Then he came in, calm. One day he fell over like a giant oak tree. He just toppled over and he was dead. Okay, He internalized and suppressed all the stress, but it was taking its toll under the surface. See, the iceberg. 
and then you need to get my meditation so that you can learn to sit still become centered and refine your inner ground of good refine the inner light the in, your intuition from God okay then go out into the world and now with some composure, some equanimity. And so you're pre-armed. Remember Paul talked about putting on the armor of God? So now you're pre-armed with patience, pre-armed with grace, pre-armed with kindness, with long-suffering, with, with all of those which are really um, an outflow of the good that's in you. It's not your good. It's the good that's in you. It's the inner light. When you get close to your inner, to that inner light, with the help of the meditation, then you can flow from it, okay? And then you can realize things in that light, realize things. So you'll have a rapport with it, okay? Then you can be a better mom, dad, husband, wife, all the neighbor, worker. So now you can be more forgiving when you see that other people are um, they have issues, they got problems, and so you won't take it personal. So then you don't become resentful, you don't become upset. You see how that, how that works? All right. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Start meditating. Get some of my books. And uh, we'll see you next time, Lord willing.